In the Web Plan Adventures Cape Mysteries, The Squire's Tale, Chapter 1 by Haika Games. Let's begin. And in small, here's the prehistory that one day there was a, a monster king, an ancient evil, and with an army of fearsome creatures by its side, the monster king conquered numerous kingdoms. And so on. So he has constructed a doomsday device that can uh, destroy entire kingdom. But he was defeated with the sword of light, and uh, the defender sealed this doomsday device, and the peace restored all over the kingdoms. Now we're going back to the kingdoms and uh, the first. Let's meet our uh, heroes and our heroes is the knight Cedric and uh, here's uh, army man, here's squire uh, Martin. So they in this chapter they are in chase of goblins and to return the Queen Sarabia back to the Queen. So they found the, the entrance to the Goblin's cave. And this knight is a bit stupid. So a bit smart is uh, Martin. Okay, so uh, the knight destroyed uh, the statue. Now we need to fix it and open the passage into the cave. Okay, let's collect these items. Uh, then with the fire we can burn these wines and go in to this small place. So here we have a hammer, a spade, a sparkle. And with the hammer we can break this hidden slot to get the goblin dictionary and animal statues. Going out, let's use speed to dig the ground and find the box. So now we need to open it and uh, we need to enter numbers. The hint we can get from these uh, glowing shapes, star, rhombus, triangle and circle. And let's count stars 1, 2 and 3. Rhombus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then triangles 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And circles we have 4. So the box is opened and inside here is the goblin glue. Now we can glue a horn and an arm. And then try to restore uh, to set the correct uh, pose for this statue. So we can change face, we can change arm position and we can change the bottom. Arm position we can read, can see here and these symbols we can translate with the Goblin Dictionary. So hands up to enter. Okay, let's set hands up. And then face. Let's uh, wet the tunic and clear, clear the shield so here we can see the face to set ok, let's set it like that and uh, to get this uh, button let's read this text so with the dictionary we can get that uh, Gobi rolls from the flames to open the way. So flames is the hint. Let's set flames here. And then one more text. Let's translate this text. So it says aided by one with the heart shell of a warrior. So we need to set uh, this uh, animal status and select the correct one. 
and the correct one is the scrap. So we can see the cave is opened and we can go in to defeat goblins. Okay, here they are and let's fight. So to fight with them we need to solve uh, many uh, puzzles. A small tutorial. Let's keep it. Uh, good luck. So uh, we need to move uh, Cedric to uh, one cell step. We can also attack and we have a, a special attack movement. Okay, first let's attack, uh, make a single attack on the goblin. And with this a special attack movement uh, we can defeat all the goblins in uh, 3 to 3 square ok let's attack it like that so it's uh, the first puzzle is solved uh, on this uh, stage we have another special attack movement so it's super fast ok I'll go in here to defeat this goblin and with this super fast movement we can run and strike this one and on the third stage we have both movements so we need just to defeat the last army of goblins going to the right up there so let's defeat this one then here we are to use the special movement and going backward and use super fast movement to defeat the last goblin so we have defeated them and this one was the goblins lord of goblins and we have got his crown then here's a dagger to take and with this dagger we can uh, unscrew uh, uncrew the box and get the gear so gears are needed to fix the elevator second gear is here and uh, one more we can find behind this door but to open it we need to set these five symbols the hint is on this picture first let's turn this uh, corner and uh, from top to bottom we have symbols of sun, rhombus spade, skull and crown sun, rhombus, spade, skull and crown the door is unlocked here we can take one more gear and here we can take a sparkle and the book is out of reach so we will get it later Ok, all the three gears are in its place and the elevator is fixed, so let's write down. Ok, we are close to it and we can see that the robber is behind this massive door. But first to open it, we need to know the password. And the password only was known by the goblin lord, but he is killed. So we need to find another way uh, to open the door. Ok, let's look around and see what we can take. First we can take the pickaxe and here's a hint where to find uh, gems. So first we need to turn on the light. Let's turn it and we can see the blue gem. Uh, then we don't need to turn on the light again. And then this uh, kaleidoscope has three slots and the th slots are for these three gems. Then we have a heavy duck statue and here's the duck symbol. So let's give it to Cedric for he to, to knock and uh, this box uh, fold out 
and we've got the flint and tinder and then here's the sparkle to take and the third one uh, is to get we need to get uh, crown and fire okay right up let's make fire and get the gem out of the crown in the boiling cauldron and then here's the bo book to take and on the page with the fried chicken we can get the yellow gem now all the three gems are here we need to place them and solve uh, the kaleidoscope puzzle so now here we are to rotate this gems till they are on their position we can see that they match uh, cells let's do the same with the red looks like that and now the green so here you can see this uh, kind of a pattern is made and this pattern is uh, the same that we need to uh, make to open uh, the door so the first door is opened but surprise here is the second door second and the next doors are puzzles of the same type so we need to solve them according to the rules uh, here we have different figures and they under some of the rules so circle is start and end point and this rhombus means that we need to follow through them so if we move directly here it's not uh, the right solution but the right is to check all these rhombuses okay let's we can move it like that it is black so it is checked next door so here we can see additional symbol sun and it acts like uh, like we need to uh, move all around it to turn on all of these beams and then it completely off the same to do with the second sun and then go to the exit and then here we have on the next door we have another special symbol so it's a cross and this means that we need to uh, to move it uh, through both of uh, directions okay so we've got the first plus and sun then here let's move like that for here we cannot overlap uh, the previous line so we can only move on a three cell oh and here is a mistake i have made we need to go here oops not sorry the first one was correct like that like that attach the rhombus and go to the end and here's the finally the queen's rubber so let's take it and return as a hero now the story continues and that was just the start to be uh, known with the heroes so they mm, brought back this uh, royal rabbit to queen and then something has uh, happened unexpectedly so the queen's wizard 
royal wizard declares that it is a sign of the monster king has returned but to defeat him only the sword of light can defeat the monster king but no one has seen it for hundreds of years and then uh, he gives the necklace of uh, three uh, gems that one fully charged and connected with the sword of light's power so let's take this pendant and go for a new adventure and uh, we are playing the squire's tale by hockey games an adventure escape mystery series and it's chapter two of eight so the story continues and to get the first author we need to go to the uh, grim tops where we meet the dragon and get this altar so we have arrived and first we need to open this gate and go in let's keep this dialogue take the take the sparkle then take this old cloth and there is a text on the sign but we will use it later then with this old cloth we can wipe these steps and behind uh, we can see symbols of mushrooms with these glowing lights but we can change the number of glowing dots and to set the correct number we need to count these um, mushrooms on each layer so here we have three three lights to set then one two three four five and next step is three and the next is six and then we have uh, four and two four and two so this puzzle is done and we have additional steps has appeared so we can go now into this gate so here's a water pipe mechanism but it is old and overgrown with the vines now we need to cut them and the Cedric mm, doesn't want for vines to be the first who are slaved by his sword so we need to find another way uh, by the rock we have found the key and in the chest here's an X that we can use first to release this ladder and then to relief, release this uh, mechanism uh, out of these vines so it's done and then we can run this mechanism by pushing the lever uh, extra fix so we need to set the gear and then to run it okay this is done the water is flowing there but it is the dead end so clamp let's clamp up and fix this place now we need to connect the in pump with the two out pumps okay let's do it like that and the first part and the second part is fixed and now let's make uh, the the third part Like that. 
it like that and so the puzzle is also solved so the water is flowing and the next it uh, flows out of this uh, pipe so we need to lift it up and guide uh, the flow to this big pipe to do it we need to fill this uh, barrel with water let's get the water from the pool make it three times and so we can see the water is flowing out of the big pipe so going out and this wheel is rotating to lift this uh, gate and fence now we need to open this gate uh, here we can take the compass we need to set it here to that slot so and then we need to set directions for its symbols now this uh, text is needed so up from the ground we will grow and we have a hint that the word up and uh, grow so grow is for the plant that we need to set the plant uh, direction up then here we have text westward winds so west and winds uh, we have these uh, winds and we need to set them to the west uh, here we have the liquid of life flows but one way it flows down that water flows down we need to set and for the fire we have a text eastern fire so this direction for the east and the gate is open so going in to meet the dragon he is or she is but a dragon wake up uh, no there will be no fight so she offers to make a house uh, some housekeeping tasks and smart martin accepted so first task is to fix the statue on the ground here it is and the second task is to uh, to ruffle the uh, griffin's feathers okay first let's uh, fix this statue so we need to build it from from bottom to top like that and then arms and head uh, that's done and a uh, secret place is opened where we can get the crystal okay now let's push uh, the boulder to ruffle the griffin and it uh, doesn't move so we need to improve the power of cedric and here's an alchemist book that can help us to make the uh, power portion so let's read the book okay once again and we can see the poem that will and wind uh, then so we need to get the words from each line wind frozen lightning uh, burning it means fire grow means plants and cliffs means mountains okay let's set it here and start again wind and for the wind we have uh, this uh, kind of a constellation and let's uh, first ingredient uh, let's say the first ingredient is the wind then frozen is for the star so let's look at the plant and stars are almost the same but mirrored so we need to make uh, the uh, the snowflake not a star uh, then goes lightning lightning this symbol here it is 
and then igniting a burning desire burning fire is this uh, three dots to connect and then grow for the plant is this one and it's also the portion is green for the grow and the last one is for the mountains rising cliffs is the last and it's an orange portion so we can see the power symbol okay let's let him drink it and then to push the boulder and ruffle the griffin going out so this griffin but doesn't affect and uh, and also we can take a hammer so in the hammer is used to remove these nails open the box I get flint and steel and below here is also a powder, black powder. Now we can use it here to scare this griffin. For he has gone and left an egg. Okay, but we don't have a scissor but we have an egg. And we can give it to the dragon. So then she decides to leave an egg and and nothing else. Now we have done both tasks and we can go out to get the altar. Also here's the sparkle you can take. So let's go out there. Uh, first the Cedric is mighty for can he can move this column and break the ways okay and also in the backpack of a uh, dead knight we can take the burning touch then let's solve this puzzle and we have different symbols we need to set the correct order the hint is shown in this uh, water glasses and we have wind sun mountain star fire cloud moon wind wind uh, sun mountain uh, star fire cloud and moon the order is correct and we've got the second gem these gems are to be set here one two okay we have a fire now we can light the touch going out to an edge and something is missing on the in the middle so we need to take the net go again to the cave and catch something is flowing on the water and inside here's a dragon burst so if we set it here and light these crystals also here's a sparkle so we can see that something has appeared and that the last uh, task uh, puzzle here to do is to connect this uh, glowing gems with the glowing part of the stone okay let's do it like uh, that the first connection is done and now let's make the second connection
and now it's also connected so we can take the shelter and go to continue our adventure so if this video will helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe watch the end of the chapter and go into the to play chapter 3 so the next location is the ruins of uh, Recursia and there we are playing adventure escape mystery the squire's tale chapter 3 by Heike games let's begin it so the next location is uh, the ruins of precursions and this kind of mathematicians who live there and fit out different interesting things and puzzles so in one of the spots we can take the key now let's take it um, and these doors are opened uh, freely nothing useful in this door here we have a red paint and if we paint the key with the red we can open the red key or red door and here's an alpha orb so let's take it and it fits for this obelisk it now can show us a panel so here we can see buttons with one two and three uh, dots and we need to put them in a certain order the hint is just here three one and two three one two okay this is done uh, the statue moved and now we can go down downstairs and also we can take this orb out going down there uh, we can see the better better orb but we can take it for this the fire flame is here so we need to get uh, rid of it and to do it we can get uh, the bowl and in one of these tables we can take uh, an arrow then let's uh, fire this shoot at this rope and destroy this fire now we can take the uh, better orb let's take it what else do we have well, here we can see the key in the pool but we can take it and if we use uh, alpha orb here now we can move it is lifted down but uh, this key is right from that panel okay let's uh, now we can take it uh, let's use then a beta orb here and it's also earlier to use it okay let's get it and go up place it here so we've got a strange uh, waders now with these waders we can walk in water and get the key and then with the alpha we can move this panel to read it and with the key we can open it let's get it and it fits right for this place uh, here we can see 1 dot for digit 8 2 dot 3 then 1 4 and 6 so sequences like 8 3 1 4 6 8 3 1 4 and six the sequence is correct and we have uh, opened the uh, way down there now we can take this orb 
before we will use it there and uh, it's another room but it is with magnetic effect so Cedric goes up there and now we need to release him and to uh, release him we need to destroy this uh, bob okay going backward uh, okay let's use this beta here so we have a stone puzzle and let's solve it we have some arrows here are uh, fixed and uh, three uh, tiles to replace and we need to start from the glowing star move into the uh, not glowing star let's do it like that go into the so we have path like that here there up there and here and let's run oops now that's done and second time to solve puzzle like that but with additional uh, tiles and two more tiles we have it's like a teleport so if we step on one we can uh, continue uh, on another exit in the same uh, direction so this one and we need to move from up there and moving uh, down okay let's place it here then from this place let's try it here there up left up and left and then we can move this one a bit closer let's try it okay that's also done maybe there is another solution but this minor works perfect you can use your own uh, next let's place this here so we have uh, the glasses removed but we can take this magnet and we do not need to take it we need to destroy it uh, next we have a key this key is from the door where we can get uh, the watering can and rubber gloves let's fill the watering can with water go down use gloves to take this acid mushroom or something like that place it here and then let's try to water it so without water it take ages to destroy the stone but with water it grows fast and destroy the magnet so magnet is broken and Cedric is three uh, then while we are both now we can pull the switches down at the same time both switches at the same time and we have found a giant uh, abacus so let's go in oh here's the sparkle on in and it is uh, the battery is dead so we need to recharge it and then going out let's take this orb move this heavy stone and you can see uh, gamma 
gamma orb. Now we need to take it out. And the foot is the best tool to do it. Okay, we've got it. So if we place it here, uh, we can take this panel. Uh, let's take it. Then for this place we will use it later. Now let's place it here. And also we have to place uh, the panel. So what do we have? We have uh, six lights and five buttons. So we need to get the correct sequence how to push them. And hint we can reveal on this tablet if we use a push only one light. So we can see this wave is uh, the first symbol. And then if we set two, we have these two lines. And then third symbol is rhombus. And then fourth a square with the dot. Fifth is also square with the dot. And the sixth is triangle. So that's done. And we've got a box instruction and place to charge the battery. Okay, it is charged. Let's take it and let's take this orb going down there if we insert it here we can see the hint and also that uh, for a backers if this bit is up uh, it counts like two but if this bit is down this two counts as seven so like two and this two plus five if it one up and we have uh, here seven four eight three and six. So let's set the same numbers here. First we have uh, seven and according to instruction of first battery to place we have this is seven according to this instruction. And the next number is four and 4 is uh, just simply this one, the 4 here and uh, one. Uh, this one is up. Uh, then next number is 8. And then we have 3 this up and then we have 6. So 6 is one bit here and this one down. Okay, now we have a passage further. And let's walk there. We have three more obelisks to place orbs. So let's place them according to the symbols and see what's next. Uh, here's a golem. Uh, we don't even need to fight him, but we need to take uh, part in exam. Uh, entrance uh, to pass an en to entrance exam. And this exam is a uh, physics, physical exam. So it's right for the Cedric. So our task here is to run, uh, use the special movement quick run in a strange stretch line, run in stretch line and go to the exit. And here's a, a bit surprise. So we can see attention rectangle. We don't need to finish the movement in this rectangle. So let's avoid it. And the rectangle is also moving. Okay, 
we have a dead end. Let's try it once again. Okay, once again. Right. Down. And now we can run after this rectangle to avoid it. So now we are out and this was the first part of the physics exam and here's second part. So at the start we have only one direction to run. Let's run it there and now to run quickly. So the last, we have, we have reached the, the star and that's uh, the end of the chapter. Now we can get the, the altar and if this video pro helped you, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe, watch the end of the chapter and go in to continue the story with fourth chapter. So the next location is the frost bell. They decided to take these orbs with us. And now we need to run quickly. And we are planning to enter Escape Mysteries, the Squire's Tale, uh, Chapter 4 by uh, Hacker Games. Let's start. So they must travel to another location, but they decided to take another trip to the Americans to take place in the tournament of the Majestic. And it's just to make a story a bit uh, more interesting okay so they came uh, here to the tournament uh, to the registration and I met their old friends and concurrents so lots of dialogues here 
blah 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 and now uh, the registration begins so we need to find an uh, invitation uh, for this uh, event now we had to do it quickly and while Cedric is uh, holding the queue let's walk around and find it uh, these gloves are here go into the tailor's room with the key we can open uh, first we need to take scissors and then scissors to cut a shield shaped uh, glove and now we can use the key to open this chest and inside here is a folding stool and also fabric patterns now we need to place this shelf here add fabric patterns and go out place this tool and cut these emblems and then here's the book and this book uh, gives us a hint 3164 for the patterns and we can see the same uh, digits here uh, but first we need to place these decorations and let's uh, arrange 3164 this uh, we can see digit 1 and digit 3 now according to these patterns we need to look around and for the sun we can see su sun sun is for this uh, shield to be placed here and then for this uh, white and blue lines uh, we can see it is an eagle for this uh, red ornaments we can see it's place for the lion and this green and uh, white triangles is like a uh, mountains so it's a uh, place for the deer okay we have assembled everything right so we've got this invitation and let's give it to pass the invitation So also a lot of dialogues here and now the first uh, first challenge uh, begins so we have a single coin and we need to trade it for something more more expensive and precious so go into the bazaar and what can we do let's talk to them let's talk here with this tea trader so it's Nira and she gives gives us a uh, can with the tea leaves then let's throw this coin to this clipping man's cup now it uh, was like a big mistake so Cedric wakes him up and then uh, we can see ask him to return the coin but he is uh, waked up and uh, says that he's uh, supposed to be watching for this sister-in-law's snakes so we need uh, to find two more baskets for the uh, runaway and give us the tassel one basket is here and the second basket is hiding behind this curtain uh, then then we need to place both of them here uh, trying to get the coin in return but here shows a show of snakes but also unfortunately now the snakes are a bit hungry and we need to 
calm them down. Okay, we have a flute and let's play the flute to ca calm down snakes. So we need to look at the lights and these lamps are on the same hedges as the snakes are. So we can see that here's for the topmost uh, lamp uh, the rhombus is pointing up. So we need to play tune and make the snake look up. Then for a second to look to the right and this one to look down. And we have done the first heart. Uh, the second turn. We can see lamps changing and now this lamp correspond to the snake. So it it is to look to the right. Then the middle height is to look up. This one is middle height and the lowest is to look to the left. And it's also done. And once again we can see now this one is the topmost and this one and it is to look down and this one is the lowest to look to the left and the middle is to look up and it's also done and all the three snakes are calmed down And in result, he gave us a uh, honey. And then let's go backward and talk to this Ambrose, his name. So he wants a T. And we have a T. We can make it. Place leaf leaves into the T pot heat it up make a team and he wants a dab of honey and we have this honey so we can add it and give it to drink In result, he gave us a pier. I take a pier, and now this pier we can use to feed this donkey. And donkey goes mad because of sugar and broke the card. Now we need to uh, reassemble these rugs in a special order. The way uh, we need to organize them that the uh, tops and the bottoms match each other. So okay, let's look uh, what can we see. We can see that this carpet top and bottom are the same as for this carpet so let's place them together like that then also this pattern in like this one these two are already Then let's swap these two positions and that can be done like this. So everything is done and the result we have got one of these uh, collection uh, rocks. The first challenge is over 
and go in here to bring what we have uh, changed for the for one single coin so it's a collection drive and go into the second challenge to play second challenge is consist of also several steps first we here we have telescope and constellations so we need to light up this fountain correctly sparkle here we have to take and let's look here on each fountain we need to light uh, fires uh, six maximum so we have telescope and we have a star chart so here's the frog let's find the frog constellation here the frog constellation and we can see that on the frog there are three uh, big stars like that so for the frog we need to light three lights next we have dark uh, dark uh, here's the constellation of the dark and we have one two three and four four stars then seal seal where is here this one seems to be a seal and for seal we have one two three four five and six then next giraffe so here he is and he has only two stars and the last is the turtle turtle is this one and it has five highlighted stars so this challenge is also solved You're waiting uh, we've got the first banner now we need to go to the arena and uh, hang it now we need to uh, get another challenge and get the second banner so to do it we need to open that box that is on the sand and to do it we need to find something in this uh, where is this water so let's dive let's say Duke is diving and he, he can find the old sword and then with the sword he can move from this uh, block but the chest is uh, locked then open clamps and inside one of them here's a pearl a shark is swimming now we can't attack the shark with the sword but with the sword we can get the key from the octopus and then with the key we can open the chest so here's the battle horn that we can use to scare the uh, shark okay nothing to do here for now and going out now this uh, pearl fits to the slot and uh, for symbols we are to set here to get the hint we also need to dive one more time and look at the items here so we can see fish one two three fish we can see only one octopus we can see one and two clamps and we can see one two three and four uh, starfish so let's set the same items here only one 
octopus, two clams, three fish, and the four starfish. Here's the second banner. Go into hang it, but a surprise is awaiting here. We have uh, the pole is broken, but okay. In the box, uh, we can take the boomerang. Then let's get the banner stand and under the sand we can see that here's a pole is hidden. Let's assemble it again. And going to find the second banner for here it is. We can see this old man with a net, but he wants to trade it for bananas. Let's talk to him. And the bananas we can reach with this boomerang. Now we have got the second banner and almost uh, finished the challenge. So two teams, mine and another knights uh, won and now we're going to play the final challenge. So here's the final challenge and it is kind of an explosive game. We need to set uh, bombs and uh, they will explode in a given order and to, uh, to kill these monsters in uh, lines and columns but only one that is uh, the closest. Okay, let's do it like that. One, two, three. So for, for the first we have one, two, three removed. Second we have one, two, three and four removed. For the first, the third we have one, two, three. This one, four removed so all of these are removed at the fourth explosion and it's only left one two three so we can easily remove them with just two explosions let's play it and the last explosion and the last monster so that was the last uh, puzzle on this chapter and now we are ready to travel to get the third altar and if this video walkthrough helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and wait a bit for here's an expected turn in the in the story where we have the uh, third character in the company to continue the story so going to play chapter number five and we are playing adventurous kick mystery the squire's tale chapter five by hockey games let's start so now we have 
completed on the Morogas and uh, let's travel to the Mittenheim by the ship and solve puzzles there. So we can see it's uh, somewhere in the snowy place and it is, is a village of Yetis a lot of dialogues here so you can skip them and all these Yetis are frozen so it's kind of a curse on them and uh, our task is to uh, un unfreeze all of them and then get to the altar and to get uh, the uh, get the next gem for the pendant you can take a letter then uh, we need to enter the code here but first we need buttons and then we need the electricity buttons are here let's place them and to turn on the electricity we have to fix this electricity box okay so here we have uh, some puzzles to solve and these are uh, puzzles of connections we have numbers that show the number of connections uh, for the node to have this one can have can have only one connection with this and this two we have one and two then uh, this two can have only two connections with four and this four only two connections with this four now it is done uh, let's connect it like that and uh, that's all so it is done then next puzzle here to solve is just to fix the Cedric's solution okay let's do it I like that so we have seven and seven has all the seven connections and only uh, two here there and there and only one here so let's uh, eliminate this one then five five here it is completed let's remove this three and for this three we can also set connection uh, here seven three so this connection to remove and five this one to remove like and that here there three also three So now it is done and the electricity is restored. Next uh, we need to get the code uh, for this parcel and the hint is here in the letter. So we can see the parcel pin is below and this four different uh, shapes. On the widget we can see that uh, there are doubled prices in normal and in kind of an yet alphabet so this sign is for digit 3 so the first number is 3 then triangle triangle you can see it is match for digit 5 this black circle is for digit 8 and this equal sign is for digit 4 so we have three five eight four three five eight 
form and we have got a parcel that contains a general store key now we can open it and go in here we can take shovel let's try to open this jar but it is strongly shut and nothing we can do with it okay going out for nothing to do here and let's use this shovel to dig uh, the scholar's house this no digging is done and go into the scholar's house to solve puzzle there here's an empty folder and we need to find the missing pages so one page is here on the floor then here's the second uh, let's take this candle the third page key yeah, with the fish so it key from this chest where we can find the drill and fishing rod then here we can see jar opener and let's place all the three pages here and this folder is completed uh, now we need to use this folder to solve this uh, puzzle so we can see these ingredients are uh, allowable and these are not allowable and let's uh, find for this fish here we have this uh, uh, tab with fish and we need to select the item that is not uh, that is accessible so we can see skulls and these triangles are not accessible yeah. uh, blood drop is also not accessible and both items from the accessible set we can meet only for this fish shimmer fish and let's set it here then for the plant page we can see that only one accessible is and this plant and then for fruits Uh, these berries we need to use and for these samples let's look here uh, here we have uh, it's this lightning or here it is and lightning match for this curve and we've got this formula uh, revealed so we need to find shimmer and shimmers fish, hedge flower, uh, crows and berries, and pink chemical. Okay, let's take it. Pink uh, chemical, but first we need to find something else. Sparkle to take. Then let's go out light the candle use jar opener to, ro to open it and get this jacky so also here you have uh, can see that the dog has appeared the dog is hungry let's feed it with jacky and then dog leads us to the lake following the dog and now she is barking at this magical snowman okay it's kind of a fairy tales here 
let's keep it and solve the puzzle from this magic snowman so here I had to place uh, this all the snowmen in uh, uh, the attack line for this mirror for the mirror and the Cedric and we have only three turns to move so we have it one two and three now all of them are defeated and let's solve another puzzle here we have five turns one two three four and five that's also done and the last one so here we have this super snowman we need to place him on uh, this uh, cross place and let's place him like that um, nope try another trick and not in that direction one up right up and right so now it is done and we have solved this puzzle from this magical snowman so he here is grows and berries uh, then here's a flower edge flower it is frozen also and we have a candle to uh, heat it up and then freeze okay we can take it and then to get the fish shimmers uh, we have to drill the hole in ice take this shiny ornament and use it as a part of the fish to get these shimmers and then So we have found all these ingredients and let's place them to the cauldron. Liquid, flour, shimmers, and berries. And to run this cauldron we need to set the correct combinations here to run it. So first let's set the temperature and we can see that there are small parts, squares and circles and the same things you can see on this kind of uh, clocks ok, skip this diagonal, so for the small bars we have a time of uh, pointing at 2 for circles we have it is pointing to 8 and for squares it is pointing to digit 3 so let's set it bars 2 squares 3 and circles 8 uh, then uh, for these lines uh, this is humidity and you can see that there are two earrings or kind of drops and this means that we need to set humidity two drops and now for this uh, strange symbols you don't need to look at the symbols 
actually but to look at this path on the map so it's 3 to 3 grid and the path moves like that so we need just to repeat it here 1 2 3 4 and 5 ok let's run it is done it is done and a few hours later uh, the unfreezing portion is completed and the frost portion is completed and let's go out and unfreeze all of these yetis the first is color yeti also talking to him for he wants other cities to be uh, unfrozen let's do it two more times skipping all of these dialogues or they don't uh, relay on a game and the third so now we are ready to go to the altar and get uh, get the last part of the amulet here we are and to reach it we need to balance these scales so let's get the items in the backpack we can take and the rope with the pickaxe we can take one more stone animal with the rope we can reach this penguin statue okay let's place all of them on the scales to balance it is uh, not enough but no more stone statues around there so let's add other items and also backpack to take and to place there now it is balanced then we can reach the shelter and get the stone oh here's the sparkle here was the sparkle maybe we can take it it's kind of a bug here so if this video walkthrough helped you please leave likes subscribe and play in further and uh, we are playing the squire's tale adventure escape mysteries by Haika Him, chapter 6 let's start So now they are going to the Forgotten Forest to find the Sword of Light. And let's go therein. So here you can see uh, it's kind of a troll standing and blocking the way through the bridge. But here's a peaceful troll and asks for a small task to do to let pass so a lot of dialogues you can read it just to be in story line and okay so we need to help him and to help him we need to uh, un unspell this dam for he can break it and use the river on his own okay also lots of dialects here so let's take this branch let's take this dead fish and one of his uh, shots and uh, we need to go to the dark forest 
to find the witch's hut. But first we need to make a touch right out of the branch and this shirt. So that's done and we are ready to go there. It's a witch hut. And you can see it moves. But that's okay. And first let's use this fish on the cat to attract the cat and to get the something from its neck. So here's the tumbler and uh, let's try to walk through these webs for Cedric uh, stuck there and now we need to rescue him okay so we need to build this web and not to touch the Cedric and here's how we can undo it So it's just my solution. Maybe you can find yours. So that's done now. And we can get get rid of spiders and the webs. Okay, now let's use fire to remove it. And see what's all around there. Uh, so, uh, what can we see here? We have got uh, spider webs, and here's a box to open, and we have the missing tumbler. So now we need to uh, guess the correct password. And the crow, uh, crow is a clue. Let's look around on these crows and kind of uh, br branches in form of uh, letters. We need to look at the crows and uh, for example here's one crow and one crow is looking at letter L so L is for the first position and then let's find two crows and two crows are looking at letter O O then for three crows are here and looking at letter L V then four crows for letter E and five crows for letter D. So in result we have the word loved and the inside the box here's just a magic wand. Okay we can't reach uh, this uh, house yet so we have passed through it. Let's take these dried mushrooms, grind it, and pour all these grinded mushrooms to the cauldron. For now, we have obtained obtained the magic scroll. For we need to bring it back to the old oak to read it, and then uh, with this pedal with this web we can make a thread so 
so we have got it and let's go backward now with this web we can make the bow and then use this bow to shut the ladder and now we can climb up and get the dream catcher for the old oak going backward let's hang it on the tree and now we need to give him a scroll to read and the scroll contains a spell like that that with the magic wand we can use to uh, remove the spell from the dam also a lot of dialogues here uh, different uh, bargains, rumors and so on but we have fixed uh, the dam so Kirk can smash it completely and restore the water flow and everything is fine now we can pass through this bridge to the second part of this uh, forgotten forest here here's a rainy weather but okay it's rain stopped go in there we can see the turtle and turtle is sleeping so we need to find a way to wake this turtle up and to do it let's go into the hut we can take a bow drill to make a fire then here we can take hand rake and all this uh, drawers but the top drawer is stuck and it is can be unstuck if we uh, push uh, all these drawers in going out with the gloves we can uh, get this thing wet get the lever use lever to run the windmill uh, then going out uh, so what can we do now we can get some moss use it to make fire to get rid of this uh, flies and with this thing with we can try to wake up the uh, turtle for the turtle is old and can tell us where the sort of light is but she uh, all, uh, always fall, falls asleep again so the sort of light is in the point of remembrance where it is and this magic mushrooms can show us a path there one more time please wake up so text about how we need to travel there now let's get these mushrooms go green it uh, first we need to dry mushrooms on the fire then green and with this magic moon powder let's pour it on the windmill to show the path and let's walk this way to the path of storms
so here's a small game to play we can see it is the rain with the lightnings and thunders and uh, we need to hide under these mushrooms to avoid lightnings so the lightnings are coming in a certain intervals and before it we can see it is a uh, thunder so the next movement is the lightning uh, we have uh, we have hidden have been hidden there under the mushroom and this wind guide us and hiding there and now let's be quick so we have five moves one two three four and five to run out of this uh, of the storms and here's the last uh, location in this chapter so we need to obtain the uh, sort of lights first let's also put this moon powder on the fire to reveal the hidden places and now these frogs we can see here so we need to click on them for they are uh, to take places on this water lily leaves and next we need to click them in the correct uh, sequence here's the sparkle to take and the sequence is shown here by this uh, flying orb floating sparkle these ornaments are um, ornaments for leaves so starting from the flower then two circles here you can see flower this leaf can be treated as two circles and then we have this corner and this kind of a fence so corner is for this leaf then fence is for this leaf then we have here there then it's kind of a whirlpool and the dotted leaves dotted leaf so this one is whirlpool and this leaf is dotted here is the sword let's try to take it it's like an excalibur is stuck there with the magic but we have amulet to take it magic pendant and let's try to take it and to take it we need to solve more puzzles so we have the symbol and we need to make it out of four parts okay let's do it like that and like that it is matched second one two three four and five Okay, it is done. Maybe there is another solution is available, but I will show you my solutions. Okay, let's try it like that, and it is also correct. The sort is starting to disappear. Cedric decides to take it away and and breaks it so unusual twist and that's the end of the chapter so if this video walkthrough helped you don't forget to leave likes 
subscribe and go into play next chapter and see what will they do with the broken sword. And we are playing Adventure Escape Mystery, The Squire's Tale, Chapter 7 by Heike Games. Let's start. So, with the broken sword, they are going uh, to find their, uh, the dark monster into his lair and to defeat him. Okay, so first we need to get closer to it. And let's uh, begin. So here's the key, as always, and this key is to open that box where we can find can of tuna and a screwdriver. Let's take these uh, gloves also, and with the screwdriver we can remove this panel and dig there with the gloves to find one part of the amulet. Here it is, and remove this garbage and take the fish bone. Then this shark statue. Uh, shark statue. So we have two uh, side platforms. So these two side platforms are for offerings. And the offerings should be in form of fish. And we have two offerings. One of tuna can and one of fish bone. So we can see it is uh, hands are opened and we can t t the anchor is released. Uh, then here's the rope. Let's mm -hmm. cut it. For we don't hope we don't have a uh, way back up again. And let's tie it here and use it to. Uh, try to climb to the balcony, tower balcony. A very weak tower is here, but okay, let's look what's inside. And inside uh, here you can see a second part of the amulet. Okay, let's go out. Remove this one, take the shield. Shield is used to remove this rock. Open the cabinet and get an umbrella to reach this second part of the amulet. Now we have both parts and they fit here to summon the elevator. And now we can write down, but first let's solve this puzzle. So, here we are to move this ball to the black uh, hole. And uh, while me we move through the uh, switch, it rotates. Then going up there. Now here we go. And let's turn these switches. then turn this one and this one walk this way and go into the very start to move right through all of these horizontal switches so that's done and now we can ride the elevator 
to different levels and solve different puzzles there. Okay. So as always, all the doors are locked at the start. removing curtains in one of these mouths we can find the gem then here's one more gem take this wooden plank remove this curtain so here we can see fences and we can't see through them but if we push this plus button we can see that additional place is opened and here we can take uh, bandages and here we can take hand saw. So this hand saw is used to saw all these fences and look out. Nothing is interesting here on this level but uh, let's check this level. So here we are to set numbers for numbers and this kind of a demo sign and starting from the top we need to look out of the window okay first let's put these gems here to get the chandelier uh, candle holder and let's look out of the window so we need to count these statues one two and three for the first level then here we have one two three four and five three five and two more levels looking out here one two three and here we have only two three and two it is solved and we've got the first key uh, the sky then let's write down what can we see here here we can see these different faces uh, to get faces we need to activate this uh, the light but it is not working and we need to fix this wire so with these bandages we can repair them and we can see the light is on so we can turn it and we can see this uh, samples but one is missing and it is we need to write to the very top to see it so from the top must this triangle then this yellow green blue uh, pink and red A yellow green blue pink and red are these levels and here's the second key and then here's one more room to solve is this one so here's place for this candle holder but we need to light it and to get light let's write down looking out here so we can burn this wooden plank and also now we can take this sparkle now light all of these candles and then we need to turn uh, off some of them the hint how to turn is shown here so this kind of stars 
and so some of them are white and some of them are yellow so yellow to be on and white to be off and we have it like that so this set of candles should be on and we've got the third key then all the three keys we need to write down and use all the three keys to open the door and go to the to the uh, monster king's lair there here they decided to split and Nira wants to make uh, the sword to forge it and the others to decide to find the monster king okay let's help her first we need to take these bolt cutters and cut this padlock so inside here you can take tongues tongues used to unfold this ladder get the crowbar get this uh, sticky gum how can we take it okay then let's uh, light all the three lamps to run the forge uh, then with the crowbar we can open this crate get the valve wheel use it to light the second lamp oh here's a hole so we need to get this gum how can we get it now we can fix the hole run the second light and with this lever run the third light the furnace is on let's push the button to open a secret chamber and uh, now we need to melt uh, the magical items to define what items are magical we need to hit them with this magic sword and this one is not the spoon spoon is magic let's take it also let's take this uh, blacksmith hammer then this shield is also magic and it is also speaking token and then one more item is is this uh, cup it is also magic so we need to take it uh, nothing else here to do and going backward now let's melt all of these items now pour shield and a spoon then we have this magic ore let's place uh, sort here and we need to purify this ore and here's a, a small game to play so we need to uh, move lines and uh, remove all of this all of the tiles so like a match three game but a, a bit different green and yellow so everything is removed and now it's time to fix the sword 
place it here for the magic ore and forge it with a hammer and it is da done so now go into a bit to see what other so two men are doing So they are st standing and thinking. And now uh, we can see that this monster king is absent or something like that. Then the Nira is appearing. And so she is the main culprit here in the game all she wants a revenge and as she is the ancestor of the heroine who defeated the monster king in the previous time so if this uh, that's the end of the chapter 7 let's see what will happen in the chapter 8 and if this video will throw helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and go in to see what's next and now we are playing adventure escape mystery the squire's tale chapter 8 and let's begin so that's the last chapter and Martin finds uh, himself in the uh, jail let's escape from here first we can take this metal ball and remove this uh, metal fence to get the shiny coin then let's pull the wall and break it and here's the uh, blinking tether and the mouse who wants uh, to trade with this feather for the coin and now now we can take this uh, silver uh, it's a needle and use it to open the padlock and get out of the jail then let's find Cedric and here's in the uh, next cell Okay, so we need to find a way to rescue him, but first we need to get find the hint for this password. Uh, let's push the lever, then get this ladle and go to this room. So here's a green cube with a strange uh, liquid and it contains different items, but now yeah, we can pull other items here to make it explode more pebbles more pebbles and it will explode so now we can get all these items level once again and lead touch and in the chest here's the Cedric sword and then here's the and a toilet hole and something is shiny there let's look what's there and it's just a key uh, let's light the torch the key is used to open that door I'm going in and it is dark here but we have a light so let's light this room get this pair and also on the wall we can see the hint so number of scratches we need to count them and here's the hint that the stars and four scratches that this position of the star means four and uh, here we can see two four six three and seven let's say the same two four six three and seven like that 
so the cell is opened and here's the disappointed Cedric uh, now we need to raise his spirit by taking of his uh, great deals also here we have three buttons to push to get the secret place with the gear gear is from this mechanism to activate the mechanism to lift uh, this uh, door so we need the uh, Cedric's help and let's raise his spirit so we need to talk to him a bit and remember of his brave deals so here's uh, his uh, spirit level it is very low and uh, there are three answers one of them ha has plus one point the another plus two point and the one has no point so getting past the dragon can give us plus two points uh, then getting stuck getting or out of the wall also can get us two more points Uh, next in the tournament this plus two uh, plus zero and plus one so let's select plus two and one more thing uh, restoring the power is zero showing the pile of snow is plus two and defeating the snowman is just one And the, the adventures in the Forgotten Forest, meeting Kirk, breaking the witch's curse, and destroying the Sword of Light is plus two, plus one, and uh, zero. Okay, he's, he has high spirit and uh, he is going to help. Uh, Martin and to run off this jail and destroy the Doomsday's uh, device. So here we can see this Doomsday's device. And let's find other items. An anchor with a rope we have found. One more time. Take the fish statue. And let's climb up. Get uh, the book. And uh, on the other side we can also climb up. And see what's there. So here we have a place to put the fish. Here we can take book, spade, use the spade to dig uh, an arrow, then take here a book and blueprint, place these books to the slots and get the red crystal okay nothing to do here for now red red crystal to put into the stuff and with this arrow we need to shot this suspicious uh, part of the wall so here we can see it's a puzzle here so to solve this puzzle we have this moon chart and it's a hint so we have for many uh, numbers here and each uh, sun let's call it the moon is connected with stars so for example for Romanian is connected with one and with two stars 
So we need to look at the blueprint. Find for Romanian and two stars. So we need to set this image. It's like that. Then this three Romanian and it is connected only with one star. So three Romanian is for this symbol. Next, uh, two Romanian, one, two, three, and four stars. It's completely black. And uh, one Romanian, one, two, and three stars connected. So it should look like that. Now we've got the second fish. And we have uh, an orb that can absorb the power of the Domesday's device. I'm going again to that room, place into fish. So we can see the water is flowing and we need to rotate these plates and holes and guide them to this uh, well. So here's one more stuff to take and all the four stuffs to the places opened a secret place and also these beds uh, um, I awakened ok now we need to solve this puzzle and run through there so in short we need to uh, make First we need to place this orb here and uh, then we need to place on each uh, place uh, so we can see if uh, all the four are different then it highlights then here's green is needed like that here's blue so we need yellow for this place and uh, this one is also to rotate to get all the uh, all the cells are different and uh, go in further upstairs to this Domesday's device so here you can see a robot let's take this crystal shard and we need to place it here and one more shard to find and also place it here a secret passage is open to go in there hammer and then chisel then this skeleton has a widened gear and a hint uh, next one more blueprint is here and a knife okay going out with the knife we can remove this panel and with a hammer and chisel to break one more crystal shard and place it on, uh, on another slot so we can see it is power is activated and this machine can work now uh, then what else do we have here we have to find the wire and where the wire is and this wire is here under the floor let's take it a lot and then to solve the puzzle so we have blueprint like that and we can see that there are highlighted symbols square arrow up 
left and right eternity sign then this kind of an equal sign and smile we need to push uh, highlight the same symbols here square left to right so one two three four five six and towards one more we have missed square up left right and turn and smile this one so at all six symbols the light is green and it is kind of a 3d printer so we've got metal horns also we have another plate is it is written if uh, i only had a heart but we can also find symbols here first one and then eternity sign and plus sign and next we can find here this kind of a uh, mirrored letter j four signs then we can see the equal sign and also we can see this comma sign let's try it and it is correct so we have a uh, printed heart metal heart now we need to go up to the robot add horns add metal heart so now he can help us robot to get you we need to wind it and then we c he can help us to lift them with the elevator up but first we need to return this plate back to him and then we can ride the elevator And next here you can see uh, Nira and now we need to find with her also dialogues trying to change her mind but nothing works so let's run um, away from her in this game we need to run through the cells and turn all of them into yellow this number shows uh, the number of turns till the light uh, till the lightning and one more cell here left to change it is changed now the next field is a bit bigger it's 4 to 4 and there are three lights 1, 2 and 3 So now it's also done. 
and the next field is also uh, larger so it's 5 to 5 and uh, for 1 to 3 1 to 3 1 2 and 3 1 2 3 So here we can see it's uh, four lightnings and one more cell left to be painted and it's also done the orb is fully charged so now we can resist uh, Nero and that's almost the end of the chapter and the end of the game watch the end of the story so now she is defeated and it's only left for them to escape escape before the Domesday's device explode. Here's the end and the rescue is coming. And if this video will pro helped you, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe and bye.